will continue with the other parts of the hip bone beginning with the pubis it is the antero inferior part of the hip bone it forms the anterior one fifth of acetabulum as well as the anterior boundary of obturator foramen pubis has a body a superior ramus and an inferior ramus now the body of pubis comprised of the pubic crest it is the superior border of the body of pubis the lateral head and the medial head of rectus abdominis and pyramidalis muscle arise from the pubic crest pubic tubercle it is the lateral end of pubic crest it is an important landmark in pubic region it gives attachment to medial end of inguinal ligament spermatic cord crosses it in, it in males now the body of pubis has three surfaces anterior surface posterior surface or the pelvic surface and the symphyseal surface or the medial surface now the attachments on the anterior surface adductor longus originates from angle between the pubic crest and pubic symphysis gracialis muscle originates from its lower part and also extends over the inferior ramus adductor brevis is attached to it lateral to gracialis obturator externus is attached to this muscle surface ad adjacent to obturator foramen now the pelvic surface it is related to the urinary bladder levator ani and the obturator internus muscle originates from this surface the symphyseal surface which is also called as the medial surface two symphyseal surfaces articulate to form the secondary cartilaginous joint that is the pubis symphysis now we'll see the superior ramus of pubis it extends from the body of pubis to acetabulum it is located just above the obturator foramen it has three borders the inferior border the pectineal line and the anterior border also called as the obturator crest the pectineal line it is also called as the pectin pubis it extends from the pubic tubercle to the posterior part of ilio pubic eminence it receives the attachment of conjoint tendon lacunar and pectineal ligament to its whole length the anterior border it extends from the pubic tubercle to the acetabular notch inferior border it forms the upper border of the obturator foramen now it shows three surfaces the pectineal surface pelvis surface and the obturator surface pectineal surface is situated between the obturator crest and the pectineal line it is triangular in shape it extends from the pubic tubercle to ilio pubic eminence pectineus muscle arises from its upper part the pelvic surface it is between the pectineal line and the inferior border of the superior ramus ductus difference in males and round ligament of uterus in females are related to this surface the obturator surface it is situated between the anterior border and the inferior border obturator nerve and vessels 
ट्रैवर्स दी ऑपरेटर ग्रू सीन ऑन दिस सरफेस द इन्फीरियर रैमस ऑफ प्यूबिस इट एक्सटेंड्स फ्रॉम द बॉडी ऑफ प्यूबिस टू द रैमस ऑफ इशियम इट जॉइंट्स द रैमस ऑफ इशियम टू फॉर्म कंजॉइंट इशियो प्यूबिक रैमस नो विल गो टू द नेक्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ द हिप बोन दैट इज द इशियम इट इज द पोस्टीरो इन्फीरियर पार्ट ऑफ हिप बोन इट कॉन्ट्रीब्यूट्स टू टू फिफ्थ ऑफ द एस्टेबुलम इट कंप्राइसिस ऑफ अ बॉडी एंड अ रैमस वेन यू सी द बॉडी ऑफ द रैम इशियम इट इज वेरी थिक इट लाइज बिलो एंड पोस्टीरियर टू द एस्टेबुलम इट हैज टू एंड्स दैट इज द अपर एंड एंड द लोअर एंड थ्री बॉर्डर्स एंटीरियर पोस्टीरियर एंड लैटरल इट शोज थ्री सर्फेसिस फीमोरल सर्फेस डॉर्सल सर्फेस एंड द पेलविक सर्फेस नव द एंड्स ऑफ द इस्टियम अपर एंड फॉर्म्स द पोस्टीरियो इन्फीरियर टू फिफ्थ ऑफ द एस्टेबुलम लोअर एंड फॉर्म्स द इशियल ट्यूब्रॉसिटी इन्फीरियर रैमस अराइजेस फ्रॉम द लोअर एंड इशियल ट्यूब्रॉसिटी इज डिवाइडेड बाय अ हॉरिजोंटल रिज इंटू एन अपर कॉड्रिलैट्रल एंड लोअर ट्रैंगुलर एरिया द अपर एरिया ऑफ इशियल ट्यूब्रॉसिटी इज डिवाइडेड बाय अ डाइग्नल लाइन इंटू अपर लैट्रल एंड लोअर मीडियल एरियाज अ लॉन्जिट्यूनल रिज सब डिवाइड द लोअर ट्राइंगुलर एरिया ऑफ इशियल ट्यूब्रॉसिटी इंटू आउटर एरिया एंड अ इनर एरिया द सेमी मेम्ब्रेनोस मसल अराइजेस फ्रॉम द सुपेरो लैट्रल एरिया ऑफ इशियल ट्यूब्रॉसिटी वेर एज द सेमी टेंडोनोस एंड लॉन्ग हेड ऑफ बाइसेप फिमोरस अराइज फ्रॉम इन्फिरो मीडियल पार्ट ऑफ अपर एरिया ऑफ इशियल ट्यूब्रॉसिटी adductor magnus muscle arises from the outer part of lower area whereas the inner part of the lower area is covered by fibro fatty tissue this part supports the lower body while sitting sacrotuberous ligament is attached to the medial margin of ischial tuberosity the borders of ischium anterior border it forms the posterior part of the obturator foramen posterior border it is continuous with the posterior border of ilium it ends below to the upper end of ischial tuberosity it presents a spine called the ischial spine sacrospinous ligament is attached to the margins of ischial spine coccygeus and levator anni also arise from this spine ischial spine forms the lower boundary of the greater sciatic notch below the ischial spine is the lesser sciatic notch both the greater and lesser sciatic notch are converted into foramen by sacrotuberous and sacrospinous ligaments you can see formation of two foramens the above one is the greater sciatic foramen and lower one is the lesser sciatic foramen
the structures passing through the foramens will be discussed in the practicals now going to the borders the lateral border it continues with the lateral border of ischial tuberosity surfaces of ischium the femoral surface it is situated between the anterior and lateral borders operator externus originates from this surface along the operator foramen quadratus femoris arises from the surface close to the lateral border of upper part of ischial tuberosity dorsal surface it continues above with the gluteal surface of ilium it has three parts the upper convex area is adjacent to the acetabulum middle part is grooved area and lower part is the upper part of, of the ischial tuberosity operator internus tendon along with two gemelli traverses the middle grooved area the pelvic surface it is between the anterior and the posterior borders operator internus arises from the greater part of the pelvic surface now the ramus of ischium it arises from the lower part of the body and runs forwards upwards and medially it meets with the inferior pubic ramus to form the ischio pubic ramus ischio pubic ramus has two borders the upper and lower border and two surfaces the outer and inner surface the upper border forms the lower margin of the obturator foramen outer membrane obturator membrane is attached to it lower border it is everted this feature is more marked in males than in females fascia lata and membranous layer of fa superficial fascia are attached to it the surfaces of the ramus outer surface the following muscles that is the obturator externus adductor magnus adductor brevis and gracialis muscle are, are are attached from above downwards the inner surface shows two ridges upper and lower and has three areas the area above the upper ridge is the upper area the area between the two ridges is the middle area and the area below the lower ridge is the lower area now the structures related at this surface operator internus is attached to the upper area operator fascia and the super, superior fascia of urogenital diaphragm is attached to the upper ridge sphincter urethrae and deep transverse perineum is attached to the middle area which lies between the two ridges perineal membrane and falciform process of sacrotuberous ligament is attached to the lower ridge crus penis ischio cavernosus and superficial transverse perineum is attached to the lower area below the lo lower ridge and colis fascia and fascia lata is attached to the lower border of the ischium ramus now going to the acetabulum it is a cup shaped deep concavity which is facing laterally 
and antero inferiorly it is made up of three parts of hip bone that is in anterior 1/5 by the pubis posterior 2/5 by the ischium and superior 2/5 by the ilium its its margin is deficient inferiorly to form the acetabular notch transverse acetabular ligament bridges this gap to form the acetabular foramen margin of acetabulum provides attachment to labrum acetabulare which bridges the acetabular notch as a transverse acetabular ligament it has a horseshoe shaped articular surface that is also called as a lunate surface and a non articular central acetabular fossa lunate surface is covered by hyaline cartilage with while acetabular fossa lodges a pad of fat the obturator foramen it is the gap in the lower part of the hip bone it is situated between the pubis and ischium obturator membrane is attached to its margins the membrane bridges the obturator groove to convert it into a obturator canal which transmits the obturator nerves and vessels now we we'll see the sexual differences that is the difference between a male and female hip bone the greater sciatic notch is wider in females than in males the greater sciatic notch is about 75 degrees in females whereas in males it is about 50 degrees the acetabulum is large in males and its diameter is approximately equal to distance from its anterior margin to the pubic symphysis whereas the acetabulum is smaller in females and the diameter is larger the chilotic line it extends from the iliopubic eminence to the iliac crest in females the pelvic part of the chilotic line is longer than the sacral part the lower margin of the ischiopubic rami is more everted in males for the attachment of the crest of penis which is in turned ischial spine the preauricular sulcus is more marked in paras females this is due to the stretching of the ventral sacroiliac ligaments whereas in males it is not that prominent so these are few of the important differences in the male and female hip bones